have been uh, neglected. The buildings have been neglected over the past 15 to 20 years. Aware that the condition of the island's public schools are in definite need of repair, GPSS Superintendent Dr. Nerissa Britannia Schaefer says they are working hard to resolve the problem. Public health officials shut down the FBLG Middle School yesterday after they found structural integrity problems that are said to be life-threatening to the students. It appeared that there were chunks of um, uh, concrete that had fallen, I could see the rebar, and that there's a possibility of a, uh, another chunk that might fall. Maintenance crews and school staff immediately got to work fixing the long list of citations. The Jigo Mayor staff also pitched in by cutting the overgrown vegetation around the campus. Employees started with fixing the air curtains for the cafeteria, clearing debris from the rooftops, replacing termite-infested doorways and rusted bathroom stalls, and cleaning other areas that public health found to be filthy. However, the weather stalled workers from fixing severe leaks on the roofs. We're hoping we would have consistent uh, sunlight and, and dry weather uh, over the next couple of days so they can get to it. These same problems were cited a year ago by the AG's Health and Safety Task Force, which placed the facility on the top 10 list as one of the island's worst schools. Schaefer says the former chief financial officer received the stack of work orders to fix the problems, but that he only pulled enough funding to fix the leaks in the administration office and the library. It had not been repaired by the time that I had left, but um, at the time all we could do was clean up and pretty much uh, uh, just keep reporting. Uh, fixing a roof leak required you know, funding that was beyond the uh, school level to provide for. Former principal Ken Denusta says the existing problems are more than a year old. Meantime, Schaefer is also asking help from the parents whose students attend public school. So we also need the assistance of our families, especially our parents and our students, to cooperate and to have a sense of appreciation for the facilities that we provide for them. So while GPSS maintenance workers and FBLG middle school staff continue to work and fix the citations brought up by public health yesterday, it still remains unknown whether the school will be ready to open come Monday. Nick Delgado, PNC News, GIGO.